Hey, Cape Girl, Patroma Newton here with your weekly update. Hey, I was out last weekend, so I wasn't able to provide the weekly updates. So we've got a lot of stuff to cover, uh, so this video may be a little longer than normal, but we're going to make it through it, so stay with us to the end. So, Don't forget, Coffee with the Cop coming up on March 28th right here at the police department. Come by from 8 to 10 a.m. for a great cup of coffee provided by Ziggy's Coffee. You get to chat with your officers, hang out with them, get to know them a little better. And at 9.30, we're even going to do a tour of the station for anyone that may be interested in doing that as well. I'm excited about getting the Citizens Police Academy going soon. The first class will start on April the 4th. We have just one or two seats left available, so if you're interested, make sure you get your applications in as soon as possible. You can pick those up here at the police department, or you can email me and I can get that sent to you. So if you're interested, make sure you get your application in to save your seat. As I mentioned, we were unable to provide an update last week uh, due to me being out of town, but we have to give credit to our Major K Squad, all of your officers, the dispatchers, everybody that was involved in those two homicides that we unfortunately had uh, a couple weeks ago. So great job to everybody that had a hand in that and keep up the great work. So the first homicide, less than 18 hours after the first homicide, officers located and arrested Marcos Lopez and Ariel Escobar Solar both of Cape Dorado. Lopez was formally charged with the Cape Dorado County Prosecutor's Office for Class E felony of tampering with physical evidence. Escobar Solar was formally charged with Class A felony murder in the second degree and felony armed criminal action. Great job again to the officers that were able to track those individuals down and get them in custody real, real quick. Less than 24 hours after that, the Major Case Squad, after the Major Case Squad disbanded from the from that homicide, they were reactivated once again to investigate a homicide that occurred in the CVS parking lot. That was a very quick solve as well. Less than six hours after the initial incident, the Major Case Squad identified the suspects involved and officers were able to locate and arrest suspects. The Cape Girardeau County Prosecutor's Office formally charged Tremarian Jones with Class A felony murder in the first degree, felony armed criminal action times three, Class A felony of unlawful use of a weapon, Class A felony assault in the first degree, and Class E felony of resisting an arrest. Zamia Smith was formally charged with a Class E felony of hindering prosecution and Class E felony of resisting a lawful stop. Unique Kane was formally charged with Class E felony of tampering physical evidence. Again, fantastic job to everybody that was involved in that. Uh, we got them in custody safely and they will go through the court systems now. So uh, good job, good work. So it didn't end there this past weekend on March 2nd at about 1.15 p.m. Officers responded to the 1000 block of William for a report of shots fired. Officers were informed of a victim at an area hospital with a non-life-threatening gunshot wound. The victim was hit by a bullet at low speed after the bullet penetrated the vehicle and driver's seat before striking the victim, but not penetrating the victim's skin. Officers continued to follow up and thanks to witnesses were able to identify the suspect as Jalil Henry, 26, of Cape Dorado. The Cape Dorado Prosecuting Attorney's Office issued a warrant for Henry on March 7th. Just moments ago, on March 8th, officers were able to track down Henry and take him into custody. Henry is formally charged with Class B felony of assault in the first degree, felony armed criminal action times two, Class A felony of unlawful use of a weapon, and Class D felony of unlawful possession of a firearm. Henry is currently being held on a no bond warrant. Again, great job to all those officers involved in that investigation uh, to locate him and get him into custody safely and quickly. And great job to the witnesses that were able to come forward and provide us with information on that suspect. So your weekly report is going to be from February 29th through March 6th. The officers had 114 written reports. They had 22 arrests and five of those were fugitive warrant arrests. They worked 32 motor vehicle crashes and conducted 106 traffic stops. It's supposed to call for some rain this weekend, so make sure you stay dry. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you next week.